Okay, I'm finishing up a series of tree videos. I did a bunch on my Christmas tree farm, and then I did a couple on the timber that are on my property. And a lot of people want to know what makes a tree trunk get large so you got a lot of lumber out of a tree. And um, I'm going to take a little walk with the camera in just a little bit to show you uh, through the woods to show you some of the things that are happening there. But I have a quick illustration I want you to look at. This is a diagram of my grandpa's Christmas tree farm. Uh, actually a farm. He had 16 acres of land. He had 10 acres of Christmas trees and then he had six acres of timber uh, at the end of the farm. And on the south were the Christmas trees so they were low, they weren't blocking the light. On the east were the, uh, was a blueberry farm so that was exposed. And I remember walking into his uh, tree farm and into the woods of the tree farm and I noticed how huge the trunks were on the outside and how much smaller they were on the inside. And very simply, uh, the obvious biggest one was right in the corner. And what that very simply was, was in the corner right here, they were getting sunlight from the east and the south and, the, and there was nothing blocking it so it kept its branches all the way to the ground and it was collecting a lot of energy from the sun. Uh, the other trees that were also large on the edges, they continued to get sunlight all the way down to the ground and had a lot of branches. Whereas the trees that were in the middle, as you walked in, they grew just as tall. But what happened is, as they grew up on the inside, the, the branches uh, of the trees, the lower branches, didn't get sunlight, so they sloughed off the branches, they died off. Uh, that's a healthy process in the tree, they're not absorbing sunlight, they're no longer needed, so they slough off and the branches just fall off and the, so they were only gathering sunlight up on the top. The tops, the, even though the diameter of these trunks were smaller, the trees were just as tall but they were only gathering sunlight at the top so they were skinnier in the middle whereas the trees that had branches all the way to the ground and exposed to sunlight on the outside, especially the corner, were much larger. And so we're gonna go take a walk and see what it looks like uh, a younger example on my property here. Okay, I'm going to try to show you an example on my property of what uh, happened on my grandpa's farm that I talked about. Now, please forgive the construction mess that I got here. But you can see there's a couple alders up here. If you look up, this is a steep hillside going up here, going down into a creek canyon over here. Um, this still has a lot of alders in it. I cleared out even more alders just recently to build the shop. But I'm standing on the edge of open space is behind me so there's a lot of sunlight that comes in to this edge of the trees um, so all of these trees that you're going to see here were planted at a, approximately 22 years ago so you can see this first tree right here nice thick trunk it's growing way up there lots of branches it gets a lot of sun exposures and it, and it had a lot more branches you could probably see some of the knots on there we've been cutting off the branches to open up some space this tree which is also on the southern side uh, and exposed is quite large and it's growing up and has lots of good branches. So both these trees have trunks that are a foot in diameter approximately. As we move back into the woods and into the shade, uh, this tree is still doing really well. It's probably got a six to eight inch diameter. We're getting further back where there's more shade. This tree, five inch diameter. And again, all of these trees were planted the same time, same day as a matter of fact. And so we get further and further back in here um, th where there's more shade. This tree we're looking at maybe a four inch diameter if it has even that. And then this tree which is barely hanging on you can see a lot of branches up here that don't have any needles on it anymore. Uh, this is maybe a two inch diameter fir tree. Uh, we're getting further back in here and they're not doing well. Now as we get back in here, here's one more fir tree that held on. Uh, not exactly the strongest tree, but it's doing well, um, or doing okay. As we get further back in here, this was all planted in firs as well, instant and amongst the alders. There are no more firs. You might notice this is now a cedar tree. I finally, all of the firs, every single one of the dug firs died back in here. And I realized that back here by the creek, there can you get a shot of my creek, Yep, there it is. All of these trees, um, all the dug firs died, but I realized that the cedar could handle shade and they wouldn't grow super fast in the shade, but they would survive and keep pushing up. And as the alders die out or I cut them down for firewood or lumber, 
the cedars are growing. So you can see down into the Creek Canyon, the, all this green that you see here at the end of December, this is all cedars. Every single one of the young Doug firs died out. The big trees that you see are alder. There's plenty of sunlight in here right now because they have no, um, no leaves on them. But in the summer, this is quite the shady space. This tree right here is an example of how a tree grows when it has sunlight all the way around it. This tree is almost the exact same age as the trees that you saw by my shop going down into the creek that were either a foot in diameter all the way down to two inches in diameter. This one is almost two feet in diameter. Uh, exact same age, same species. Uh, what happened here though is we have the driveway to our neighbor's house and my driveway on either side. It's out in the open. It gets sunlight all the way around so it has, has long extended branches gathering a lot of energy from the sun. The only branches that are not on it all the way to the ground are the branches that we cut off so that we could see through here or we could park a car underneath here. But uh, this is a good example of a tree having sunlight all the way around, keeping his branches, absorbing a lot of energy from the sun. And so a tree the same age as what we looked at before is significantly larger. Okay, right now I'm on timberland about 200 meters above my house. Uh, this is not my land. This is owned by a logging company. Uh, this particular stand of trees was thinned out a few years ago. I think about five years ago because they were growing in too thick and they couldn't grow effectively. Um, so they thinned them out so that they could get more sunlight in here. But you can see this tree is about the same diameter of the, as the tree that you just saw above my drive, my house in my driveway. Uh, this tree is way older, probably uh, two to three times as old as those trees, but they, it's not growing as thick because it doesn't get as much sunlight. And if you look up, you can see what I was talking about. There's no branches on these trees for 40, 50 feet on almost all of them because there was the canopy catching the sunlight up top and this was all shaded. So again, the natural process is for the branches to die off that are not catching, catching sunlight and just slough off. This is a healthy part of the tree growth. And then the parts that are getting sunlight continue to grow. So they thinned out these trees and so there's more sunlight coming in now and they will continue to get bigger and stronger and they allowed for more growth. I'm uh, going to come over here and try to pan up so that you could see uh, what the trees look like going up. But you can see there is a, a fair amount of sunlight coming in here now because these have been thinned, but there are not many branches uh, for the first 40, 50 feet on these trees. Therefore, they're not growing nearly as thick as quickly. Yes, I do throw a measuring tape around a lot of the larger trees on my property so I can get the statistics on how much they're growing. I hope you liked this timber video. Please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. There's a lot more trees, gardening, homestead projects, goats, animals to come.